All right, good afternoon. So it's been a while since I've posted a video. Um, first things first, I wanna apologize if I have a coughing fit. I had the flu, influenza, something, and it's been kicking my butt for the last like nine days. So, but I just finished having a coughing fit, so I think I'm good now. I wanted to go over everything that's gonna be released in my shop um, this Saturday. January 14th at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, sorry, that was gonna have a coughing fit. So, um, yes, so I'm gonna share everything and go into like a little bit of detail about pricing and everything. Um, all this stuff is pre-made and everything, so shipping should not take too long. I would rather quote higher just in case, but um, right now I think I have shipping at five to seven business days. Um, it might be a week, seven business days, but I'm gonna bump it down to five to seven business days because all these are made and um, a lot of them were poured like really early December, so they're ready to melt as soon as you get them. I tell people um, at least 14 days because it's a soy wax, but definitely up to you. Um, I find really good performance at, fit, well, 14 days, 15 days. Um, that's when I started testing everything. It was literally after the 14 day mark. So 15 days is when I tested everything. And yes, so um, I do wanna specify that this is just me and there's no one else helping me with the shop or anything like that. Um, the, these first batch of um, melts, I had to hand cut all the label paper and everything like that. So I'm working on better labels and everything, but yes, I broke my silhouette machine that was supposed to help me cut. So now I had to figure out something else, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, so I will probably be changing the labels um, in the next month or two. I just have so many things I already made that I hand cut all the labels already. But um, yes, so that's just something that I wanna address right now. And then, um, Right now, we're doing just snap bars and clamshells. Um, the snap bars, as you can see, just grab it. Um, they are in a clamshell technically, so they're technically clamshells too. I am not gonna be purchasing those clamshell snap bars anymore because they're just way too expensive. It's like, I don't know, 50 of them, and it's just, it's, it's not a good prop. I mean, the person who like sells them is making a good profit, but I'm not really making a good profit off of them. So I do have snap bar um, molds. So I'll just be putting those in polypropane bags um, in the future. But I had enough of uh, the actual clams to make quite a few. I probably wanna say like the first, like 150 will be in these. So anyways, but I just wanted to get that out of the way and Sorry, I keep checking on my dogs because they're like looking at me like they want to play and I'm like, no, just give me like a couple minutes. Okay, so let me get going and everything. Um, so like I said, uh, clamshells and snap bars. I actually got new clamshells too. Um, newer ones are going to be bigger. I think they hold up to almost four ounces where these ones hold up to ah, like three point five or something like that um all the measurements will be in the description um so the snap bars are two dollars and then the clamshells are gonna be three dollars and 25 cents um not this first launch but the next release or like next two releases sorry someone's walking down the hallway okay they just got really loud um so the next batch of um clams should be in the bigger ones maybe they might still be in the smaller ones i'm not raising the prices or anything i just like the bigger clams better um and you can obviously hold more wax and everything and they were a better deal so i was really confused but anyways so um i'm just gonna grab and um pretty much just yeah go over what everything is so probably snap bars going forward will be single scent oils or like 
because what I try and think of is like a snap bar is really good for um, blending or for mixing stuff. So hold on one second, let me open this. Um, and then that's kind of what I want to use them for. So there's two different designs for the snap bar. So there's this one and then um, the like single one. So, um, but I want to try and do snap bars as probably just single oil ones in the future, just because it's so much easier to just, you know, take a snap out of it and, you know, mix it or blend it with whatever you want. Okay, so Twilight Woods is cedar, oak, amber, musk, citrus, vanilla. I did this one as a bathroom scent. Um, anyone who knows like any of my videos I'm like the biggest earthy smoky person in the world so I tried to tone it down a little bit because I know not everyone is like that I actually tried to throw in quite a bit of bakery um and clean and like fresh is like brand new to me so there's not too many of those but I tried um but like I said this is just the first round and obviously we'll have more releases and then I'll try and go with feedback about hey can you put more fresh in or hey more smoky you don't have to tell me twice about smoky scents because i love everything smoky so there's twilight woods um like i said i'm just gonna grab stuff all right and then we have cinnamon cupcakes which is cinnamon vanilla clove buttercream yellow cake and coconut i'm not gonna open them or i'm not gonna smell them because i made them and i know what they smell like um i will say that that one i did in my bedroom um and i'm not a big bakery person but you know, obviously to try everything out. So most things were um, bathroom or bedroom. I was able to do some in my open concept. Um, I just really liked most things in the bedroom, but I'll let you know. Woodland foliage is citrus, fir, pine, vanilla, um, vanilla musk, citrus, and then, oh, why is it on there twice? Oh, sorry, typo, huh? Um, citrus and patchouli. That one was an open concept. Uh, pistachio pudding is vanilla pudding, almond, honey, pistachio, and butter. That was a bedroom. Toasty cookies, which is toasted marshmallows, sugar cookie royale. Let me tell you, that, oh, that was amazing. That was a bedroom one. Autumn flannel was a bathroom one, which is amber, clove, vanilla, almond, caramel, cashmere, musk. Smoky Man, Blue Sugar Type, Fireside, Smoky. Bathroom. Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Was amazing. Cozy Cabin, Fur Needles, Cloves, Smoked Wood, Sandalwood, Cedarwood. Open concept. Um, some of these are just so silly. Oh, I wanted to point something out because I had someone, I mean, it, it didn't bother me, but they were like, well, how come this doesn't cover this part? Someone asked if they could see the bars. Um, when I was like showing some of my friends, they were like, oh, I want to know what kind of bar I have. If I have, you know, that one or if I have this one. So I purposely made them shorter so people could see what bars they had. Um, in the future, if you want, I can have it covered. But I don't know, because someone got really upset that it was like the wrong measurements and then someone else was like, no, I like it that way. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> So, let me know. On biscotti, almond sugar, vanilla bakery dough. That one was a bedroom one. Wonderful. Merlin's Forest, pine, lemon, vanilla, sandalwood, moss, geranium. I do want to smell this one because I just, it's like one of my favorites. And you wouldn't think it would be. The lemon is strong, but it's not like overpowering. But it's just, I don't know, it's just one that when I was, you know, pouring and everything, I was like, I really like that one. Lemon pound cake, citrus butter, bakery batter, vanilla, coconut. I forgot the comma. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm going to be like my harshest critic and everything, so. Darn it. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Um. So, lemon pound cake, I am not a big, I know I just talked about Merlin's Forest that has lemon in it. I'm not a big lemon person, but I really do like lemon pound cake. Um, that was a bedroom one. Frost and snowdrops, winter air, musk, sandalwood, jasmine, vanilla. Open concept. Okay, storm watch, which is a type 
ocean, ozone, salty, uh, salty water. And I'll have all the types in there. Like if it's a Yankee type, because I, I didn't memorize all of them. Um, if it's a Bath and Body Works, blah, blah, blah. So I should have that in the description. Um, oh, that was a bathroom one. It was amazing. Winter Wonderland, Cinnamon Clove, Orange Musk, French Vanilla. I think that was open concept. Pumpkin pretzel latte, pumpkin butter, pretzel toasted, marshmallows, vanilla bean, graham crackers. That was a bedroom one, and I was really sad when I used up all my cubes. Witch's brew, amber, basalm, cedarwood, vetiver, patchouli. Open concept, because I just did that one again for the second time today. Uh, bonfire wood, jasmine, patchouli, musk, violet, dry wood, smoked maple. This one. Oh my god. So it's, it's, um, bonfire wood is a bonfire blend mixed with driftwood. I just, I don't know. I, like, to me, smoky is amazing with everything. Apple cider donut, apple cider, musk, cinnamon, and vanilla. Bedroom scent. Love it. Um, I made myself a brittle bar in apple cider donut the other day. Um, Glacier Falls, Jasmine, Bergamot, Melon, Berries, and Amber. Bedroom. Alright. Beechwood, Oak Moss, Fir, Lemon, Cedarwood, Pepper, Mint. <laughs> okay, I was like, wait, Pepper? Why would I add Pepper to this? Pepper, Mint, Sandalwood, and Eucalyptus. Um, Oceany stuff is always bathroom for me. Autumn Night, which is a type. Sandalwood, Apple, Clove, Apple, nutmeg, cedar musk. Hmm. I, let me smell it real quick because I'm pretty sure this was either bathroom or bedroom. I feel like it was bathroom. All right. Jellyfish, mixed berries, almonds, citrus blossoms, warm vanilla. I just used that again for the second time today, and that was in my bedroom. Forbidden fruit, apples, orchid, musk, pineapple, peach, and jasmine. Bedroom. No, 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 bathroom. Mm, actually, I don't remember. Earthern, oak, eucalyptus, musk, amber, vanilla, violet, sandalwood. I feel like this one was open concept. Yeah, oh my gosh. Just, this is probably like my second favorite. Earthern Oak. And then now we're getting towards the end. Mountain Trail, Saltwater, Citrus, Fir Needles, Musk, Amber, Sea Moss, Rosemary, Eucalyptus. That was a bathroom scent. Banana Nut Bread, Cinnamon, Banana, Clove, Vanilla. Bedroom. I don't like banana bread. Banana Nut Bread. I mean, I do. But like, as a food, I don't like it. I thought it smelled wonderful. Pumpkin peanut brittle, which is a type. Peanut vanilla and maple. I love this. Um, I think I did it both in open concept and bedroom. Amazing. One of my favorites. Hayride, which is basalm, vetiver, and cedarwood. Open concept. Peach nectar. Peach, apple, and florals. That was bathroom. So, like I said, um, I was going to say sandalwood. I don't know why I was going to say that. Um, clamshells are $3.25. Um, I have a certain number of every clam and snap bar that's made. Um, so like I said, the shipping should be pretty fast. Um, I'm going to go take a look and see what I have labeled in my shop. I thought it was five to seven days. If not, I'm going to go move it down to five to seven business days. Um, yeah. Oh, let's see, what else can I tell you? 100% um, soy wax, cure for 14 days um, minimum. But I really honestly, I know some vendors, the longer you let it sit, the better. Um, I mean, all this stuff, I mean, I, like I said, I the poor date. I think that my oldest one in here is 12-7, and that was cinnamon cupcakes. I think that they perform very well. Now, 
I talked about this before. I'm not going to sit there and name other shops because I don't want to be that person. But I, I mean, there's some shops that just don't work well in my apartment building or in my apartment. Um, and that's fine. Just like my friend, she has a, a townhouse. And some of the stuff that works wonderful for me doesn't work in her her house and I'm like I don't understand like I don't get it either I've tried to figure out the science behind why some blends work great and why don't some don't blah 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 I don't know um I do the same amount of fragrance oil for like everything like um like when I do my paw print molds I'm not gonna do eight percent compared to when I do the brittle bars I'm gonna do 14 percent or whatever so I do the same amount of oils per mold I guess we'll say so um yeah I don't know literally it should just be wait the two weeks and you're able to use it um I also have samples that are fireplace and tea and cakes so I'm just gonna pick random ones um just because it's a sample it's a little shot cup and I think if there's anything else that I need to discuss I don't think so um yeah so that's everything. So I will obviously have the description and then um, photos, depending on obviously if it's a snap bar or if it's a clamshell will be in there. And then, yeah, four dates on there. Uh, description of, um, or sent notes, sorry, is in there. And yeah, so 9 a.m. January 14th, which is a Saturday, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Yeah. Other than that, I don't really know. Um, I was just kind of doing this because I thought it was fun. And, oh, I think most people know this, but obviously all the ones I showed you do not have a color to them. I, I obviously think the color is pretty, but I can sell stuff for cheaper without doing the glitter, the color, stuff like that. Personally, I'd rather just have a really good throw compared to the color. Yes, I think the, some of the colors and some of the designs and stuff like that are so pretty, but otherwise, you guys, I would have to chalk that up like an extra like dollar to dollar fifty, depending on like what kind of, do I use mica powder? Do I use just candle dye? Like stuff like that. And I just don't want to do that. My whole thing is I really just want to be in a portable shop and have, you know, obviously really good throw and everything. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for blends or anything like that, I don't plan to start a Facebook group like right this second and we'll maybe wait till February or March to see like how everything goes but um send me a message because on Instagram um it's still paw print melts so I'm writing down ideas and everything I mean I still you guys I still have like tons and tons of ideas but obviously I want to like figure out what you guys want I know like everyone is like diehard zucchini bread I mix in like everything with zucchini bread I don't like strawberry but I know like everyone else in the world does so yeah just let me know my dog is like aggressively licking his paw um but yeah just let me know and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions um write them in the comments and I'll try and answer it as soon as I can Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.